Welcome back. In this concept development practice page, it's kind of like a quiz. So if you understand inertia, which we've been studying over the last couple days, it's possible that you'll do very well on this. So I just want you to think and I want you to answer before I answer. So mark your paper before I give, a, give an answer and see how you did. So we talked about the idea that weight is if you say I weigh 100 pounds or I weigh 600 pounds or whatever you weigh, um, you're not going to weigh the same if you were on the moon. The moon is one-sixth as big as the earth, more one-sixth as massive as the earth. So it has one less, six less mass or one-sixth the same amount of mass as the earth does. What that means is that you are going to weigh less. So someone on the moon can take really big jumps and leap just like that they did not weigh very much. So what changes and what doesn't change? If I'm on the moon, I'm exactly the same as I am on the earth. I have the same amount of me as I have on the earth. So I have something that I always had, but I'm going to have something different also if I'm in a different gravitational field than I am now. So the first thing, and I'll give this to you and then we'll, we'll take our quiz, comparing the concepts of mass and weight, one is fundamental or basic. So it's based upon you. What are you made up of? Is that your mass or is that your weight? Okay. So depending only on the internal makeup of an object and the number and kind of atoms that compose it. So the more atoms I have, the more of me I've got. Okay. The more of me there is to love. So what is that? Which one is basic to you? That is your mass. That's your mass. Your mass is the number of atoms you have and what those atoms are. And that is the amount of matter that makes up you. That is independent of where you are. Your weight is going to change everywhere you happen to be. In any gravitation, different gravitational situation you find yourself in, your weight is going to change. So there is a case that if you're going around a loop-de-loop -loop at a, an amusement park, for a split second, you are weightless. The amount of downward push and the amount of upward push is balanced. And there is no gravity pushing on you. And for a second, your stomach goes out of your throat. because and That's why you stood in line for two hours, because you were weightless at that moment. But at that second, you still have the same amount of mass. The concept that additionally depends on location in a gravitational field is what? All right, so where you are and what gravity field you're in is your weight. Okay, so I'd like you to do these ahead of me. So here's your choices, mass and weight is a measure of the amount of matter in an object and only depends on the number and kind of atoms that compose it. That is your mass, okay? Your mass is based on what it is that's in you and how many of those atoms there are. It can correctly be said that, here's your two choices, is a measure of laziness of an object. Now, I never mentioned laziness, but I did talk about inertia. I said that if you are gonna throw a baseball, it's easier than throwing a bowling ball because the bowling ball has more mass. So it doesn't want to move and it's resistant to a change in its motion. So a bowling ball at rest tends to stay at rest, but a bowling ball in motion wants to stay in motion and that's why I can slam into those pins. So think of that as it doesn't want to change. If it's moving, it wants to stay moving. If it's not moving, it wants to keep not moving. And so you think of that as its laziness. Which one is a measure of the laziness of the object, or otherwise called inertia? Inertia is based upon which? Its mass or its weight? Its mass. The more massive you are, like a bowling ball, the harder it is to get it to move. That has high inertia. Once it's moving, it's harder to stop it. That's because it has high inertia. A baseball would have lower inertia. Mass or weight is related to the gravitational force acting on the object. By now, I hope you're getting it. That's the weight. Weight is based on gravity. Mass is not. Mass or weight depends on an object location. Okay, so which one is based on which gravity field it's in? That's weight. Whereas what doesn't change depending on what gravity field you're in? Your mass doesn't change. So if you're on the moon, you're going to have the same mass, but you're going to have a different weight because gravity changes. So your weight is a product of gravity times your mass. So we're going we're gonna to see that as W equals mg. That's how we're going to say weight. Weight is W, and it's a force, and it's in newtons, is going to equal kilograms times 
the, the uh, acceleration of gravity. So one Newton equals one kilogram times Earth's gravity. This G is Earth. Okay. Uh, let's see. In other words, a stone would have the same mass whether it's on the surface of the Earth or the surface of the Moon. However, its weight depends on its location. On the Moon's surface, where gravity is only about a sixth of the Earth's gravity, okay, which one would be the same? Okay, so I think their their three choices would be mass would be the same, uh, weight would be the same as the Earth, or both math and weight would be the same as the Earth. Mass would be the same as the Earth, okay, but the weight would change. While mass and weight are not the same, they are, okay. Remember, directly proportional, if I have 2 times 5 equals 10, and I raise 2 up to a 4, okay, this is 4 times 5, I now have to raise 10 up to 20. So as this goes up, this goes up. That's a direct relationship, okay? If I have something like this, 10 divided by 5 equals 2, okay, as 2 goes up to 4, this, so 4 is, this will have to, to um, go down to 2.5. So as one goes up, the other goes down. That's an inverse relationship. So they're asking, does mass and weight have an inverse relationship or a direct relationship? Okay. The more mass you have, the, the more weight you have. Is that what you have? The more mass I've got is the more I weigh. Yeah, that's true. So that's a direct relationship, directly proportional. Um, let's see. In the same location, twice the mass has twice the weight. They're directly related to each other. The SI units, International System International, it's French, uh, uh, kilogram or the Newton, okay, is, is mass. Mass is measured in what? kilograms. Your mass is in kilograms, but the SI unit of force, which is your weight, is the Newton. So when you have kilograms times uh, gravity, which is uh, meters per second squared, you've got Newtons. So Newton is a measure of force or weight is your force and kilogram is your unit of mass. In the United States, it's common to measure mass by something by measuring the gravitational port uh, pull to the earth, it's weight. Okay, so we call our, our weight, um, we stand on a scale, gravity is pushing down, okay, You're, and the support force is pushing up, and it squeezes springs inside your scale. And that, and that, that uh, measure of the pull, of the push on the springs is what tells you how much you weigh or whether you've gained weight or whatever, lost weight. All right, I hope that helped you. All right, I'll see you in class.